Hello everybody and welcome to another Nintendo Dad's First Look. I'm John and I will be reviewing or giving you a first look of a game called Cross Crush. It's kind of hard to say. Um, and this one's going to be, looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I got the infamous Masson message, are you interested? So I watched the video for this. And at first I had no idea what I was even watching. It just, some person with a, a walker or a cane just starts smacking cars and then they get run over. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out what kind of game this is. And uh, and then they start blowing cars up. And I was like, oh, it gets even more interesting. But, uh, so th this game is Cross Crush. And it's developed by... Uh, Thanese Games, I think is how you would say that, and published by Radalika Games, and it is a puzzle game, and I'll read the, the description here, it's pretty good, it says, help the sweet elderly couple defend their home by blowing up cars, it says, Henry and Florence are a happily married couple, they enjoy music and have been dancing all their lives, but now a noisy highway has been built right in front of their home. Disrupting their harmonious lifestyle. It says defend your peaceful abode by blowing up many cars in a row as possible. <clears throat> hack and hack them with your cane to finish them off. <laughs> so yeah, this is a uh, this is a puzzle game where you blow up cars that are in your uh, in your way. It, it kind of remind it's like Frogger, but the cars are coming. Well, I guess Frogger they come at you too, but. You're not trying to cross the road, you're trying to blow up cars, so... But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at it. I think I summed it up enough. But it just, it definitely caught my eye and looked funny whenever I watched the video. Oh, yeah, and I'd like to thank, uh... the developer and publisher for giving us a code to check this out early. I'll say early, I think it releases today, so it'll probably already be released by the time you guys see this on the 23rd. Yeah, here's the here's the married couple that I saw in the video. She's got her cane going out there. <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's look at this real quick. How to play. Destroy all the cars, except ambulances, to clear the road. The squares on the ground are called cells. Activate a cell, wait for a car to go over it, then explode it to destroy the car and earn points. Okay. Each car that goes past the crosswalk will decrease your score, except ambulances and rollers. Alright. It says white cars activate all surrounding cells when they explode. Red cars carry a TNT box that will destroy all surrounding cars when it explodes. Do not destroy ambulances. Each ambulance you destroy will cause all the following waves to start one cell closer to the sidewalk or crosswalk. It says each explosion you initiate counts as one action no matter how many cars are involved. You can also damage cars with your cane if a vehicle explodes because of it, it will also count as one action. Clear the road using the same number of actions as suggested or fewer to win extra points. Some cars will carry items. Exploding the car will instantly award you the item. Hitting it with your cane will set the item free without harming the vehicle. Okay. In some game modes, ground cells stay broken after exploding you can't use a broken cell again until a roller fixes it interesting uh, cars will appear in groups called waves there are 10 waves on each level and the current wave is shown at the bottom of the screen all right let's let's give this a uh, chance or a try out here do we want to be Florence or Henry well, let's be the old lady uh, you can change your. Oh, you can be uh, different colors, different styles of clothes. Let's. Uh, eh, 
We'll just go with this. Let's see. Score vehicles destroyed combo. Let's try it. Alright, so we move with the normal, the joystick or the D pad. Uh, two is change view, three pause. So we hit X to use our cane and B to activate cells. That's really what I'm wanting to know. Alright. Oh, we can run up here. We did it. We took him out. <laughs> Watch this. We're going to blow up the TNT one. And it will take out the other car. Boom. Oh. If we take out the white car, we take out all... We activate all the other ones, right? Yeah. Alright, we're getting the hang of this. No ambulances so far, you gotta watch out for those. So you blow those up, it starts all the cars earlier. Oh, there's one there. Let's see if we can get this stretch limo. Take out this one first. Alright. Next wave. Oh man. How are you supposed to take it? Oh, I'm gonna have to take out that other white car with my cane. Alright. Because if I don't, he'll activate the other squares. Oh, I guess you don't. You can choose whether to activate them or not. Okay. Ah, oh, man, how do I. Okay, now we can do it. That's the thing. So if I get the ambulance to take off early. Then it'll just drive off. I don't have to worry about blowing it up. Oh, so what do I do now? So will this blow up if I hit it? It did. What the heck? So how are you supposed to save that ambulance if they put a uh, TNT truck right by it? confused uh, we're just gonna blow up everybody in one whack come on TNT truck yeah all right so I think we completed the first level we'll go ahead and do another stage for the first look we've only been on here for 10 minutes try to give you guys a good enough piece of the game but not show off too much to where you don't want to or you feel like you don't need to go get it if you like it all right let's see so we got a nighttime level 
Let's take these guys out. Alright, so level 2, you still don't have the, uh... Um... Well, I don't want to set all those off. I can get that last one, though. But, uh, they still don't have the spots where if you break them, that they leave the... They stay on the level. Can't use them again until the roller comes. It's kind of an interesting uh, choice. So why'd I do that? We want to get the ambulance free. And then we want to blow up this guy. I can't tell, is that a white car? I think so, yeah. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why they did that one again. Oops, I didn't see that guy. He was kind of hiding behind the other car. It's definitely an interesting concept. Alright, I don't see an ambulance anywhere, so let's go ahead and give these guys a blow up. We'll blow this one up next. Bam. Uh, I don't think any of those guys have a... I got some kind of power up see what it is. Maybe it's electric cane. Uh, yeah. That was awesome. It's totally worth it. Starting to get a pretty good sized wave. I don't like the night times, it's hard to see if it's an ambulance or not. Here, we're in a TNT, all these guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, there's an ambulance. Let's go ahead and. Oh! got run over. Well, now we can TNT the rest of them. Alright. Well, I think that was a pretty good look. Uh, I can only imagine how challenging the levels get whenever you have less room to work in because if you notice they uh, they kept continually growing the amount of cars that come out into the wave so and then like they said there's also some levels where uh, when you damage the road blowing up a car it stays damaged until it gets repaired so you can't reuse that same block which so far I don't think that would have affected any of the ones that I did. Um, I could see it maybe impacting if you blew up a white car and then you blew up multiple cars at once. Uh, you couldn't go back and use any of those spaces that you've already blown up. But I don't know. I'll have to play some more and find out. But I think two out of the eight, we did 20% of the game. I think that's a good, uh, a good look at it. So let's... Uh, Let's price this guy. So this game is five dollars, four ninety nine. Like I said, it comes out. Well, today's October the third or twenty third when I'm recording this. Uh, it comes out today at some point. So by the time you guys are seeing this, it should already be out. But yeah, that's uh, 
That's Cross Crush. It's kind of a hard one to get out. And uh, I think it's fun. I think for five bucks it's worth a shot if you guys like puzzle games. Um, definitely go check it out. And that's another Nintendo Dad's first look. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye now.